Conversion of Metric Measurements Hello kids. Today, let us learn conversion of metric measurements. We will be converting from higher to lower unit and then from lower to higher unit. Let us start with the conversion from higher to lower metric measurement unit. To convert a higher unit to a lower unit, we multiply the number by 10 or 100 or 1000. Example 1. Convert 6 hectograms to grams. First, count the places to the right of hectograms up to grams. We have to move two places. We have already learned that the value of a unit is 10 times the value of the unit to its right. As we moved two places to the right, the factor is 100. Therefore, on multiplying 6 with the factor 100, we get the answer as 600 grams. Remember kids, here, we insert as many zeros to the right of the higher unit as the number of places moved to get the answer. Now, let's solve one more example. Convert 217 kiloliters to liters. We know that 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liters. So, the factor is 1000. Therefore, on multiplying 217 with the factor 1000, we get the answer as 2,17,000 liters. That is, we insert three zeros to the right of the higher unit. Now, let's see the conversion from lower to higher metric measurement unit. To convert a lower unit to a higher unit, we divide the number by 10 or 100 or 1000. Let's solve an example. Convert 34,000 millimeters to meters. Count the places to the left of millimeters up to meters. We have to move three places. We have already learned that the value of a unit is tenth times the value of the unit to its left. As we moved three places to the left, the divisor is 1000. Therefore, on dividing, 34,000 with the divisor 1000, we get the answer as 34 meters. Remember kids, here we move as many zeros from the lower unit as the number of places moved to get the answer. Now, convert 800 centigrams to grams. We know that 100 centigram is equal to 1 gram. Therefore, 1 centigram is equal to 1 upon 100 grams. Therefore, 800 centigrams is equal to 800 upon 100, which is equal to 8 grams. That is, we remove two zeros from the right of the lower unit. Kids, now try converting a few metric measurements on your own. I will meet you soon with more such interesting topics.